Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to design this simple birthday flyer using Adobe Photoshop in few minutes. So first of all, you open your Adobe Photoshop on your screen and then you give your project a name. So I'm going to name my simple good birthday flyer. Alright. Now let's leave the weight at 8 and the height at 9 and then keep the inch, uh, the unit at inches, the resolution at 300 and then click on create. Good. So head over to your view and then click on new guide and then change the position from 0 pixels to 10% and then go back again, new guide. This time around 90%. Now go back to view, click on new guide, and then toggle the horizontal orientation and then change it to 10%. And click on OK. Go back again. New guide 90%. And then click on OK. Now let's go to our folder. And then drag and drop this image here. Good. And then toggle this guy here. Now let's right click on it and then rasterize the layer. Go back to image and then click on adjustments and then click on color balance. Right. Now this is good, alright. Click on OK. Now go to your eraser tool, right click on it and then click on the eraser tool. You can choose to increase the size a little bit. But I'm just going to keep mine like this. And then let's get rid of the lower parts. Right. Good. Now let's lock the background. Good. Now go to your shapes, right click on it and then select the ellipse tool. Draw a circle. Like this. On your keyboard, press Ctrl plus G to duplicate and then change the color to white. And then reduce the size and then position it right in the middle of the first shape. Right, like this. Toggle this guy. Now select both layers by pressing on shift on your keyboard and then select clicking on this uh, the upper layer like this right let's take that again to select two or more layers click on first layer press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and then click on the other layer all right now right click on it and then click on rasterize layers right click on it again and then click on merge layers now go to your eraser tool, right click on it and then click on magic eraser. Now let's get rid of the white space in the middle, right? Good. Now this is what you are going to do. Go to your lasso tool, select the polygonal lasso tool and then cut off this part like this. Right click on it and then click on cut. Good. So now we have this part removed. Now rotate it like this because we are going to join it to this place. Right. So just follow the video and then do the same thing. Good. this is good for me now what you are going to do is that you are going to select both layers and then right click on it and then click on merge layers right 
can then position it like this awesome now let's go back to our folder and then drag and drop this image Good. now let's rasterize it go to select go to subjects now press on ctrl plus j on your keyboard to duplicate now let's get rid of this layer All right so drag and then drop it in this trash icon here good and just bring it down like this this is okay for me now this is one way to get rid of the background of any image at all All right so this is okay for me and the next thing we are going to do is to go back to our shapes select the ellipse tool again and then draw another circle and then put it right here by this time I'm going to change the color to let's sample this alright let's go back again draw another circle and then put it right on top of the first one just position it very well good now go to your shape tool right click on it click on ellipse tool and draw a circle position it somewhere here and then turn off the color and then turn on the stroke so let's give it um this color right here this is the color code let's change this to the first one and then increase the stroke size to three all right five will be okay good now let's rasterize it and then select the sorry click on the ellipse tool and then get rid of this part because we don't want it press on the little on your keyboard and then right click and then click on the select awesome now let's go to our folder and then bring in this image we have here Good. rasterize it let's just rotate it like this awesome go to your eraser tool and then select the magic eraser and then get rid of the white background around it All right Now on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus T to transform, then right click and then click on flip horizontal, then click on this guy and then you position it right here. Beautiful. Now let's change this, um, let's give it some sort of blur. So go to your filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur and then keep this as 10 click on ok good now let's go to our folder again and then drag and drop this our image right here decrease the size a little bit click on this guy rasterize it and then right click on it and then click on create clipping mask adjust it well something like this is ok for me go back again to your folder then drag and drop this image too and then the same thing just like we did for the first one rasterize it right click on it sorry now let's drag it to somewhere here but it should be below this the first image just like this right 
we want to clip mask both images in this shape uh, thing we have here so just like this uh, it's okay for me now click on the first image that we clip masked and then go to eraser to click on eraser to and then decrease the size zoom in and then let's smooth in the edges good All right this is perfect for me now click on the first image we clip mask go to images go to adjustments and then go to selective color all right then let's do this adjustment make sure you keep the colors at red and then click on ok click on the second image go to image adjustment selective color and then do the same thing make sure that the method is at relative not absolute then you click on ok good now the next thing we are going to do is to change the color of this circle we have here so select the layer right double click on it and then let's sample the color here okay this is good now this is the color code we have the color code right here and then click on ok good now let's um go to our shapes again select the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangular shape like this rasterize it go to your lasso tool select the polygonal lasso tool and then let's trim off this portion because you only want this part click on layer via cut now let's get rid of this part so on your keyboard press on the delete key good and this is sorry this is all that we want let's bring it here I'm going to FX, click on color overlay, and then let's change the color to 5C0419, and then click on OK, click on OK. Now on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Alright, now let's change the color. Eight A zero four two four. Click on OK. Click on OK. Good. Now go to your shape tool, select the rectangle tool, and then draw a rectangle shape right here like this. And then let's change the color. Let's sample this color. And this is the color code. Click on OK. Awesome. Should be somewhere here. Now go to your text tool and then add your text. Go to your shapes, select the ellipse tool, and then draw circles. Change the color to this. Press Ctrl G on your keyboard to duplicate. 
right now change this one to to the color right this is the color code press ctrl j again and then let's change the color to Now let's add our final text, which is the last one. Let's do some adjustment to it. good now let's add some sort of um, color gradient to our pictures to make it more appealing All right so select your first image go to images adjustments hue and saturation and then let's do some adjustments here is good for me I also do same to the rest of the images then this one too then good now we are done with our flyer so go to view and then click on clear canvas guys now thank you for watching the video to the very end if you have not subscribed kindly do so so that you don't miss any new updates and you have subscribed to the channel so thank you so much